your kid seems to be trying really hard to get things done, to get things done on time, but they actually seem like they're super disorganized. They're procrastinating all the time. They can't prioritize what to do next. And worst of all, they're super emotional, in a bad mood, and really anxious. What if I told you you had more ways than you could ever imagine to help your child get through this? Executive functioning coaching for your child is often the secret sauce that's missing to help bring your child peace, hope, and success at home and in the classroom. Kids that forget their homework and lose their water bottles and leave homework assignments behind, they're so many times mislabeled and misunderstood and they're often called lazy, not motivated, disrespectful. But what they really are is they're probably struggling with one of the 11 executive functioning skills. These skills are what help us get things done in an efficient, peaceful, successful manner. When we take these problems that our kids have and we can categorize them under one of the executive functioning skills, then all of a sudden we have strategies and we have something we're working towards improving. You see, when we look at the child and we're like, oh, they're just lazy, can't really help lazy, right? Oh, they're so just organized can't really do much for you there. But when we can separate, look at the child as a whole person, as a whole being, and be like, hey, they're struggling. They're not that they're so disorganized. They're really struggling to prioritize what to do first. Then all of a sudden, we can hone in and be strategic and put in some explicit strategies, supports that can help them build that skill of prioritization. In my last video, I talked all about what executive functioning skills are. You may want to check that one out if you want to get a little bit more information on executive functioning skills. One thing I really love about this approach is I love to see the changes in the faces of the kids I work with when I teach them to use the words instead of, oh, I'm so disorganized or I'm such a mess to I'm working on improving my organization. All of a sudden, they stand a little taller, they're a little prouder, and most importantly, they're feeling like they're on the right track so that they can be more organized and not forget the homework and not disappoint the people around them that are counting on them. When we're looking at executive functioning coaching for kids, the first thing we start off with is we want to let the kids know that executive functioning skills are skills that they can work on, right? The next thing is we want them to figure out what they're really great at and the areas that they feel that they need to improve. Once we have that, then the coaching comes on board not to tell you what to do and how to do it. It comes on board so that together, the parents, the child, and the coach, which in this case would be me, we come together to figure out the right strategies that are gonna help support the skill that we're trying to build in addition to make sure that the skill is getting better and easier. Together, we'll learn how to set areas of importance. I really don't like to call them goals when I'm working with kids, but that'll be another video. We learn to create routines, follow routines, put systems into place so that we can keep track of our stuff and we can get things done. They'll learn how to organize their space, how to put in strategies to help them remember things that are important, and learn to check in with themselves so that they can get better about thinking about thinking. With executive functioning coaching, we'll also develop strategies to regulate your emotions, to become more flexible. All of these things will help them with emotional regulation. So as you can see, executive functioning coaching can really impact the child's life from the classroom all the way through their ability to make friends, interact with their family, and keep track of all the things they have to do. I'm gonna tell you about Little Mary. Little Mary came to me, one of the first things she told me was, I am sick and tired of my mom and my nanny and my stepmom telling me what to do, how to do it, when to do it. It's like, they don't even let me think. This is something, unfortunately, that's very common feeling. I, I feel that my kids with um, executive functioning issues struggle with because of course, 
all the adults in the room, we're just trying to help, right? We're lending that, letting the child is struggling, we're lending them our executive functioning skills so that they don't have to go through the struggles that, that I, we see them going through, right? The problem with this method is that it's almost like a quick fix, right? So little Mary is having a hard time organizing her backpack, right? Getting her stuff. So instead of having little Mary sort through all of her things and figure out what she needs to do for homework, sometimes, um, the adults in her life would come in and set her homework for her on the table. Then she would do the homework and then they would put the homework in the bag for her. So yes, little Mary was having to skip the frustration of looking through her stuff and being disorganized and not knowing what to take out, when to take out, but she wasn't actually learning the skill of remembering what to do next, organizing her stuff and worst of all is sometimes when little mary would go back to school she wouldn't know where her stuff was because she didn't put it away so this is a perfect example of the awesome caring loving adults that we are letting our kids use our executive functioning because they're lacking right well what we need to do is we need to take the areas that they're struggling in and this is where coaching comes in and we need to slowly gracefully and gently build upon their skills right and we do this in two ways number one we want to support the environment right because we want little mary to do the work and bring it back to where she needs to bring it to school right so we want to support the environment we want to put a system in place so that together we're helping little mary bring everything she needs back to school the second thing we want to do is in mary's case it was a problem of being disorganized right um, we want to help build the skill in her brain of organization. And we do this through repetition, through practice. We do this through having her think about thinking. We ask questions, what comes next? We debrief, how did that work? Why did we forget that? Oh, because the phone rang or my neighbor came over and I didn't do that last step of putting things by the checkout zone by the door. One great thing that I love when we give kids the opportunity to become our partners in figuring out how they can navigate this executive functioning maze is in this specific case, um, because little Mary knew that she had a hard time keeping track of all her stuff, she was able to come up with a system that worked out great for her. She was able to come up with a buddy system. So we talked about it. Um, she talked about it with her teacher and then she was able to pick her neighbor and say, Hey, Sally, I keep forgetting to bring home all of my things. How about at the end of the day, we do a check in with each other and make sure we have all of our stuff, right? I'll make sure you have your water bottle cause you're always forgetting it. And you make sure I have all the workbooks I need to do home. So this is where coaching comes into place because, um, we allowed little Mary to come up and think of the solutions and we were able to support her in coming up with solutions for herself. Now, while little Mary's story does have an overall happy ending, it wasn't a perfect journey for her, right? Little Mary still may forget some things behind, may forget a water bottle, may forget a workbook, may forget her soccer ball at practice. But the point is that now she has a system from which to build with. And the other part is that now her mom has a system that she can implement in other areas of little Mary's life when she sees her struggling with the same skill. I do want to acknowledge that if you are watching this video and you have tried stuff like this before um, and you're thinking, Nicole, I've tried that before and it just doesn't work. I want you to ask yourself two questions, right? Did I, were my expectations too high? Because that's what I see that happens sometimes is that we want to, um, to help our kids with like five things at the same time um, when we really need to start with just one, one thing. Ask yourself that and then ask yourself what kind of support did I have when I tried to implement this new strategy that I Googled, that I saw on Pinterest, that I saw on Instagram, right? What support did I have? Because usually if I'm talking to the families, those are the two things they're missing. They tried too much, right? So it wasn't sustainable. I've talked about sustainable parenting before. We have to pick things that are going to be sustainable that we can continue to do so we can support our kids, right? Um, and the second part is it's really hard to go through this alone. Um, so I've often talked about there's different levels of support from reading a book 
to working one-on-one -on -one with a therapist, with a coach that can really um, support you and hold your hand through the process and cheer you on and answer questions for you and help you when you're stuck. Um, so ask yourself those two things and know that it is hard to go alone and you don't have to. So I've seen the changes for kids when they have the opportunity to have somebody work on their executive functioning skills, right? They go from frustrated that they're disappointing everybody, that everybody's nagging at them to they feel confident, they're hopeful, they're just happier and they begin to get really good at solving problems. The other part of this is supporting the parents, right? Supporting the parents on what the parents should do so that the parents can help their kids get better executive functioning skills. And that, my friends, is my very next video all about a parent coaching program so that you can get better at helping your kids with their executive functioning skills. See you in the next video.